welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I wanna wish you guys a very happy Easter. Uh, this is gonna go live the day after Easter and we are still in the Easter season. So I hope you guys had an enjoyable Easter Sunday and a very reflective Holy Week as well as Lent and all of that. But in today's video, I thought I would go ahead and give you guys our little chicken update. It's been a while since you guys have seen our baby chicks as well as our big chickens. So let's go ahead and see how they're doing. So it was raining today, so it's very muddy around here, but we have our little hens over here. There's another one popping out. She, I think, is not doing so well, or one of them is not, not really the healthiest. They're not giving us like a hard egg shell. But let's take a look inside their coop. All right, no, no more eggs for the day. We did in, um, change out their bedding in here to these like pellets of pine, which will hopefully help and be easy to like clean up and stuff like that. And we're testing it out. We're gonna see how well it works. I'm gonna use a kitty litter scoop to clean up the mess that you might've already caught on screen. But one thing I want to note is that you guys see like where they enter this little area, they end up sleeping on this roost over here where you see all the poop, sorry about that. But some of them also end up sleeping here in the nesting box because it is the furthest away from that door. And that is what we definitely took into account when building our new coop for the babies. Now we're not totally done yet. Like I said, it was raining today and Juan was hoping to make like some of the final changes or edits this weekend. So I don't know if that's actually gonna happen, but the general idea is here. So I think you guys will get the picture and you'll definitely have an update later on when we are totally done. But this is what it looks like so far. This little area here will be where our nesting boxes are and then the birds will sleep over here. And the original plan, we have a hole cut out and I'll show you guys in a second, a hole from in the bottom there for the birds to jump down underneath and just, you know, roam around here. There is a door up there and we'll have like a little ramp that lets them free range so they can, you know, roam on that hill and get some bugs and stuff in that area. But I mentioned this hole in the floor. I have some concerns about it. So Juan's actually going to have an opening here, have a little another roof come out and build an enclosure that has then a little ramp that goes down. So it's a little easier for the chickens to get into the little area beneath the coop. So for these things, we just have holes in the bottom. And then right now we have the babies inside their coop area, but we've closed them in because they are small. They don't need to learn to like the nesting boxes. So we need to build a little divider here that separates the two nesting boxes that we have for the birds. Those things are covering the hole because Jack and Aubrey were getting used to like climbing up and playing in here. But now that the birds are here, I don't want that to happen. So right now this is a storage area. You could see cords. We have a heat lamp as well as a camera that watches the birds for us. But the new plan, instead of the birds like hopping down and going down the hill and then having to like hop back up, will be again to have a little opening here where they have like a little ramp that comes down making it a little easier for them and less likely for them to get hurt. We do have ventilation so that they can breathe well and that it won't get too hot or too cold or too stuffy. And then Juan put these nice little hooks here to hold the doors open. And there's one on the other side over there too. So before I show you guys the chicks, we have our little door back here. This down here will have like, you know, just solid wood across. And we are gonna do like a DIY feeder system where we can pour a whole bag of food in there and not have to fill it up like every day or every couple days. The watering system will also probably like run along here or something like that. And it will be more of a like fill up every couple of days rather than having to do it every day, which may or may not be a good thing because when it's like every couple of days, it's like, oh, I'll check it tomorrow. And they could have been out of water that day. So I think it'll be good practice to like, just continue to check the water level, top it off. Same with the food, you know, like keep an eye on it and kind of learn the routines of like, they eat a whole bag of food in this number of days and you know, then we'll go pour another one, you know, before it gets too low. But I'll show you guys the baby chicks now. They don't have a tendency to run towards me when I open the door. So hopefully that won't happen because 
yeah, I have you in one hand and I need another hand to open this door. All right. Hey, little ladies, getting warm under the heat lamp. If you guys saw, I think the last video was like a get it all done video with Aubrey. She got them all wet because she wanted to them to be refreshed. So we got our two, let's see, our two white birds here should lay white eggs. And then the ones that are like kind of that color will lay blue eggs. Hey, you better not be a mistaken rooster. Uh, <laughs> that one was the one with the poopy butt, I believe, because of her head. I can kind of tell them apart because of their distinct feathers. Although the other ones that will lay brown eggs kind of on the back there, they're hard to tell apart too. The white ones have a bit, apparently been the troublemakers. That's why we had to move them out here because we had them, whoa, we had them in a little box. <laughs> um, and they would jump on top of their feeders and then get out of the box. So that's why we want them in here and getting them used to this area is also good because, let me, uh, whoa, okay. I have never seen them act like that. Oh my gosh. I really hope they aren't like roosters. Anyways, let me go watch. Hey, 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 I'm not here to hurt you. Okay, I'm not here to hurt you. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so in this area, we'll have like a high roost and then like a medium roost so that I can easily scrape using a kitty litter scoop or whatever, the poop and put it in the compost. And we'll probably have the pellets out here as well. So that again, it'll be hopefully, what is up with these little ones? Um, I'm, they're like little dinosaurs. Uh, anyways, the, I'll, I'll have, they don't like my hands, I guess. <laughs> hey, ladies, ladies, it's okay. Anyways, I'm gonna close this door soon so they don't go crazy. But again, we'll have like a roost up high and then a medium one so that I can really reach in there and clean up from their messes that they will leave for me every morning. But there we go. That is what our babies look like. They definitely grow a lot very quickly. It's interesting to see like this one has brown feathers on the right and then the other one has like black and white feathers, but they're apparently supposed to lay blue eggs. So we'll see. I hope, I hope these are all girls, but the fact that they're fighting concerns me. But by this time, I guess that's why you call it pecking order, right? All right, bye ladies. So that was funny to see. I've never seen them do that. Uh, I guess they just don't like my hands. I do need to get them used to like feeding out of my hands and all of that stuff, but I'm sure that will come at some point because the other hens are used to me and you know, some of them we didn't get as babies. So it's all good. I think I was gonna say, or maybe I already said it, uh, by this time we could kind of tell that we had a rooster the last time we got babies. And since all of those are pretty much the same size, I think we all have hens. I mean, when we bought them, it was like a 95 or 99% chance that they were gonna be female. So it would be really weird if we got a rooster in that bunch. I think they're just being territorial. And we've seen other chickens, like we had to introduce one of our neighbors. All of their chickens but one got eaten by a hawk. And they gave us their remaining chicken because chickens really aren't supposed to be alone so they get like depressed and then I don't know really what happens but it's not good for them to be just like a single chicken so we took their chicken off their hands and we saw like chocolate which is our darker hen kind of show the other one now Thanksgiving it was their bird um, show her who's boss and who's like the head hen in this coop over here. So I'm guessing that's kind of what's happening over there is they're going to establish a pecking order and I guess one of those blue laying hens will be on top. But I wanted to wrap up this video just to thank you guys for tuning in and seeing how my family's doing, uh, seeing you know how our chickens are doing and all of that. 
I definitely have a lot more to share with you guys. I have like a whole cleaning series that I have kind of planned to do uh, now that spring has finally gotten here. Like I feel like I'm ready to do some spring cleaning, but it's been really difficult because the kids got sick and then I finally caught it and we're still recovering. So keeping to my Monday, Friday schedule has been a challenge. And I know that like it's been on my heart for a while to take like a one or two month break from uploading every Monday and Friday. So I believe this will be my last video for like one or two months. And I, and it's not an April Fool's joke if you're watching this on Monday, but I will probably still like occasionally post a short video, like a one of the shorts, not a short video like this. But um, I'll, I'll probably continue to post like random shorts here and there, but not feel like I need to get, I need to stay up till midnight working on editing this video so I can stick to my schedule. So if that, if I was wrong about my planning and I have like one more video planned, I'll, I'll let you guys know, but I'm pretty sure this is the last one scheduled for the next like month or two. But I have, like I said, a lot more that I have planned. It's just, I haven't been able to film it all. And then I know that editing it would take a while. And I just, I need a break to be healthy. And then, like I said, we would really like to have another baby and my body, I just don't feel like is in the best place, the healthiest place for me to, to do that. And so I need to focus on that, focus on getting in better shape and try to get ahead on my filming so that I don't feel like I'm just playing catch up. So thank you for understanding. I hope you guys stick around because I have a lot more to share with you guys that I think is very interesting and helpful. Like another concha recipe, I just made for the first time a strawberries and cream concha yesterday and I think it turned out really good. Like I, there's been times in the past where I tried to make something and I'm just like, this just doesn't taste like what I was going for. And I'm pretty pleased with how the strawberry one turned out. So I'll do like a video sharing how I made those. I just have a lot on, you know, that I'd like to share with you guys but I just know I also need a break. So please stick around, give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked those little chickens and I will catch you guys in the next one in about one or two months. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.